Hello, this very quick tutorial just to show you how to make a faux enamel pin badge in Procreate. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is start a new canvas and for this I'm just doing landscape 300 dpi uh, and in order to get the basic shape I'm just going to bring in uh, an image Of course what I can also do is use the symmetry tool so that I can just draw it very quickly and I'll make a layer above it making sure that my new layer has drawing assist on. I can also reduce the opacity on my piece of artwork just to make sure it's easy to draw over and I'll just center it also on that symmetry line doesn't have to be exact right what I'm going to do on my new layer with drawing assist on is with black I'm going to choose the mono line tool I've got it under favorites if you haven't moved brushes anywhere then it's going to be under calligraphy uh, and you'll find mono line next make sure that the opacity is all the way up and then choose a size for your brush uh, that looks about right for me and then what I'm going to do, using the symmetry, I'm actually just going to draw my brush. And now I can actually get rid of my uh, artwork there because I don't need it anymore. I'm also going to turn off my drawing guide because I don't need that anymore. Next thing I'm going to do is just rotate my sketch round a bit because I want it on a slight angle. And I'm just going to add some paint into this now. Okay, there we are. That's the uh, outline done. The next thing I'm going to do is create another la layer, which I'm actually going to drop below my ink outline layer. And in fact, if I rename this, line art and this one color. Now, I've got solid outlines on my line art, which means I can actually now use those, albeit on another layer, to easily drop colour in. I just tap onto my line art and then choose reference. Now, if I choose a colour like, for example, orange, I can drag that in onto my brush handle and it actually stays within the outlines. It's going to have a bit darker for the detail on the handle. Just go through and colour your design. Okay, that's got the uh, colour put in. And if I turn out my line art, you can see that I've actually uh, got those colours separated they don't bleed underneath the line art at all. The next thing that I'm going to do to give it the effect we need is to duplicate that colour layer twice and on the top one I'm going to alpha lock it, select white 
and then if I touch it again I can say fill layer and it becomes all white don't be alarmed we need to do that so that for the, for the next bit I'm just going to rename that and call that white the next layer down if I alpha lock that choose black and again fill layer you'll see I've now got a black layer as well and still at the bottom I've got my full color layer I'm just going to rename this one and call it black okay now the next thing that we're going to do is turn off reference because we don't need that anymore make sure that we've got nothing selected and what I'm actually going to do now is to take the white layer and if I select it using the arrow on the top row I can now tap it down six taps so I'm going to tap that down by selecting the white layer I can now tap down below the bottom bounding box one two three four five six and it's actually moving the object downwards if I now go to the color layer tap on that and say select I can go back onto my white layer tap on it and just above alpha lock I can tap on clear so it's now cleared out everything apart from the white bits that are actually uh, beyond the the boundaries of the color now if I select that I'm on that white layer I can actually tap it upwards by six again to bring it back into view one two three four five six there we are I'm going to do the same with the black but this time going upwards six one two three four five six go onto the color layer select back onto the black and clear and then I can bring that coat that black back down again by six tapping at the bottom one two three four five six The next thing that I'm going to do is just blur the uh, white and the black and to do that I don't want it to spread outside my artwork so I just go onto the color tap and then say select go to the white layer Gaussian blur and I'm just going to blur it maybe about six you'll see as you do it whether it looks about right uh, it's still selected so I can go onto the black Sorry. make sure I've got the color selected go onto the black Gaussian blur and take that up to six as well okay the next thing that I'm going to do is just to do the same with the line art now to do that I'm going to duplicate the line art make sure that nothing's selected alpha lock the top line art now and then change the color to white tap and fill layer you can see it's now white I can rename it to white line And then I'm going to tap that up just by two or three. I've done three there. Go back to the line art, select onto the white line and clear. Then with that white line layer, I can now put that back down. One, two, three. In fact, I'm going to give it one more four and you can see it's giving a bit of a glow to the outline of the pin now I'm just going to put a slight blur on that and to do that I go onto the line art layer select onto the white line click onto the magic wand Gaussian blur and just give it a Gaussian blur of maybe two and a half lovely Okay, that's my paintbrush done. The next thing that I need to do, of course, is to put uh, a card around it just to make it realistic. 
what I am going to do is just group all of these layers, call it brush, new layer which I'm going to drag below the brush. I can now decide what colour I want my piece of card. Let's go with that. And again with the mono line. Edit shape, change it to rectangle. There we are. And then drop the colour in on that. I'm going to resize my brush. Make sure magnetic is on. And straight away what you notice is it needs a drop shadow on that brush. So with the brush group, just duplicate that. The lower one, flatten. Alpha lock. Black. And on the layer and say fill layer. And it's actually given me a fully filled black layer now, which I can actually turn off Gaussian, uh, the alpha lock. Go to the magic one for Gaussian blur give it a Gaussian blur of maybe 15 or 16 and just offset it there. What I can also do is reduce the opacity. The card too could do with a drop shadow so if I duplicate that and on the lower one I can actually drop black in. You won't see it happen because it was underneath Gaussian blur of maybe somewhere around 16 and then just offset that too and reduce the opacity. Just for a bit of realism I'm going to add some text. I can edit this style Reduce the size. And it does add a bit of realism if it's actually behind what you've created because it makes it look like that pin is mounted on the, the card, which is quite good. I'll leave it like that. Uh, and the only other thing, just to add some uh, surrounding to it, would be to give it some other background and to do that I'm just going to drop in a photograph of a wooden floor I took earlier. You'll see it's dropped in above the drop shadow of the card so just bring it down underneath. Uh, that's about that and the very last thing that I like to do just to add a bit more realism is make a layer above the name that text and with white and mono line I'm just going to draw a diagonal diagonal line across like that fill white and then I'm going to Gaussian blur a hundred percent and again a hundred percent and reduce the opacity right down to somewhere around 16 I'm going to make another layer, this time with black. Do my diagonal line there and drop in black. And then go Gaussian blur 100%, Gaussian blur 100%. And again, just drop that opacity down maybe somewhere around 30, 35%. And that... Let me just go full screen. There we are. That's an enamel pin badge made in Procreate. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found that useful, please comment below. Thanks very much.